And Congressman Rush says he's not alone in his concerns, and he'll take part in a national prayer vigil Sunday night on this matter. He says he hopes that will show, shed the national spotlight on Burris's plight two days before he arrives at the Senate door. Battle lines are being drawn over Roland Burris's appointment to the Senate, and both sides are gearing up for a fight next week. Among them, longtime Illinois Congressman Bobby Rush, who's leading a coalition to make sure Burris isn't blocked at the Senate door. I maintain that if he were not African American, then he would probably have been. This isn't the first time Rush has brought race into this controversy. When embattled Governor Rod Blagojevich, who's facing impeachment, appointed Burris on Tuesday, Rush expressed gratitude an African American had been tapped. Rush says Blagojevich's troubles have nothing to do with Burris's qualifications or the legality of his appointment, then stopped short of calling the current outrage a conspiracy. Those individuals who are a part of that plan and program are relentless in their efforts to keep rolling out so they can get their person in. Burris's legal right to hold the Senate seat is gaining some support from newspapers, former elected officials, and political analyst Paul Green. Burris should be the next U.S. Senator from Illinois. Tainted is not a legal word. It's a political word. If Majority Leader, leader Harry Reid fails to block the Senate door, Burris would be sworn in Tuesday. That's the same day the House Impeachment Committee in Springfield could get taped conversation of Blagojevich allegedly asking for money in exchange for the support of a gaming bill. And today, House Speaker Mike Madigan called all representatives back to the Capitol next Wednesday, indicating the House impeachment vote could take place by the end of next week. I think he's seen uh, through his attorneys what's going on down there. I don't think he feels like he's getting a fair shake in the hearings down there, so I don't think he's surprised that they're trying to rush it along through the House. Governor Bogoyevich was charged last month in a federal complaint with trying to sell that Senate seat, among other things, but he has not yet been indicted. Now, if the House votes to impeach next week, it goes to the Senate to convict, and the Senate, by a two-thirds majority, has to vote to do that. That would remove the governor from office, but that, Anne, could take several weeks. We're live outside the Thompson Center. Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Dana, thanks so much. Meanwhile